Fani. Touch ball. Petrarca. Great smother again. They've been brilliant tonight at that. Here's Eugle Hagen. Smother put on him. Lockie Hunter. Left footer. Gets himself some room. Dumps it long. Mark taken. Mitch Hannon. They've been better for longer in this game of footy, the Dogs. There's no doubt about that. This to make it 22 points. Hannon to kick his second against his old team. Too good. Down. Sharked here by Viney and his kick smothered there by Garcia. Ricochets in the direction of Petrarca. Great smother from Bailey Smith. How about the pick up from English? Away to Eugle Hagen on his non preferred. That was smothered by Lever. Ball spills out to Hunter. Hunter runs to 48. Across his body, the kick goes. Mark taken. Deep in the goal square here by Hannon. To really get the spatula out and give that nice coat of icing on top here for the dogs. Was, uh, as we spoke about, Hugo Hagen was pretty quiet. He followed up there and was able to get involved again, but he uh, didn't get the possession, got it smothered and followed up with a really nice block and created some space for Lockie Hunter to be able to find Hannon. Mitch Hannon, the former demon, directly in front, sends it home for the Dogs. He's kicked his second. And the assignment now, extremely tough for Melbourne. 13 7 the Western Bulldogs. Melbourne, 9 9 63. Just four minutes ago, from the stoppage, Viney, his kick smothered. Petrarca, his kick smothered. Great effort here from the Dogs in their fourth half. Hand pass comes the way of Eugle Hagen. His kick was smothered as well. Finally, Hunter gets a bit of space at the top of 50. Slides one towards the goal. There's a mark out the back. It's Hannon in the goal square. And the former D might just sink them. Well, nothing better than uh, getting a mark in the goal square to put the nail in the coffin against your former team. Well, is there going to be? Is there going to be a bit of uh, fake uh, bravado? Bravado after this? And... Oh, I hope not. Just celebrate, boys, with your teammates. Teammates, yeah. Mitch Hannon from the top of the square to make the margin 22 points in this final term. He delivers no bravado this time. Just a nice little silent fist pump, and all of his teammates run to him to get around him. <laughs> and didn't make it, but well read by Mitch Hannon in the goal square. Nice way to cap off for your, your game against your former side, that's for sure. It's three goals in four minutes, and now it's the biggest lead of the nine. Gorn and English, top of the 50 for the Western Bulldogs. Viney, kick partially smothered. Petrarca, his kick partially smothered. They must be up to 20 smothers by now. Ethan, Jamara Eugle Hagen, been busy the last five minutes. He's kicked partially smothered. Lockie Hunter runs to 49 for the sealer. Will it get the journey? It won't, but it won't matter because Mitch Hannon has taken the mark in the goal square. And this will seal it for the Western Bulldogs, you would think. It'll put them almost four goals up with five minutes to play. And Hannon's going to take his full 30 seconds. He's got it. And he loves it against his old side. And that might be it. A five-minute burst has seen the Dogs kick three quick ones. And they're out to 22 points. Five minutes on the clock. The player is a young player. Obviously a confidence kid. Confidence is he's starting to build. You can see it in the way he's attacking it. But just a really good shepherd there that provided Lockie Hunter all that space to waltz around and kick that ball in. Yeah, Red Z leading stats. 11-3 clearances Western Bulldogs way this term. McRae and Bontepelli leading ball winners with eight apiece. 16-point lead. English with the tap, but straight to Viney. Kick was almost uh, battered down. Fell to uh, Petrarca. Bailey Smith with a good smother. Allows English in. Handball to Eugle Hagen. He's everywhere now. His kick was taken off the boot. Falls to Lockie Hunter. No Melbourne player runs at him. He runs to 48. Low drop punt to the top of the square. And the mark's been taken by Mitch Hannon. The ex-demon can ice the game and finally put his ex-teammates to the sword by kicking the dogs 22 points clear. So Mitch Hannon, he kicked 
a goal. When did he did he kick a goal earlier? Second tonight? quarter. Second quarter. And he missed in the first quarter. But he would have to fall over to miss this. Directly in front. Left foot drop punch. He got close to the man on the mark. He kicks his second. And the dogs are home. Melbourne crept within four points. The dogs then with three goals in as many minutes of playing time. And with five minutes remaining, it's the Western Bulldogs 13 7 85. Melbourne 9 9 63 on the McDonald's scoreboard. I'm not ruling him out just yet. Still a lot of footy to go. I know it's four goals. Max Gorn has been super in the ruck. I'm not saying it's quite fat lady sort of scenarios. I'm inviting her to sit in my chair, Jim. Oh, yeah, she can. She can. She's already warmed up out the back. She oh, yeah. can sit in my chair and, and take over whenever she, she likes. She's cracking the knuckles. I think the uh, the Listerine. Good evening. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, she is. All right, but I don't think she's singing just yet. She's just. <clears throat> I'm mm. happy for her to take clearing her throat. Yeah, getting mind. the physio cram. Nice, nice to have her here on a Saturday evening. Well, done, done, miss consistent.